So we are doing Linux troubleshooting break and fix issues. The so far scenario is disk full. It might be an application failure. So we'll simulate the issue first. So we'll see that a web application stops working due to slash var partition running out of space. So this commonly happens when the log files grow uncontrollably. So we'll try to simulate this issue. So how you go and check the disk space before making any changes. So the command is df hyphen h so that it will show all your disk file space nothing but it displays disk space usage usage of file systems that is the command df and hyphen h is something human readable format so if you see here you are seeing it is in gbs or mbs so this is how you go and check your disk space so first of all we will try to create a large file so we will create a dummy file inside a var log so whenever you want to create something so i'll use command called dd so which is copy and convert data so now i'll, I'll just say if equal to slash dev slash zero and of equal to of is nothing but which is writes the data into a log file okay so if is nothing but which reads from an infinite stream of zeros okay so nothing but we are loading our disk with if and of is something which writes the data into the log file so which log file i want to send this i'll just say var log i'll just say big file dot log okay so any random name okay then i'll just give bs that is block size so each block size will be 1 mb then i'll say to create count equal to 5000 nothing but 5 gb file okay so here whenever you run this it will say that permission is denied because i am running as a normal user so you need to run with the sudo this is just a simulation you cannot run this in the real time which is which really will break your system okay nothing but your disk so this is just a example that we are simulating so if you want to load the var log file system with 5 gb then you can run this command let's see what happens now okay so now if you see it has created 5 gp file that is big file dot log so how you gonna fix this issue so some someone has raised an incident saying that okay so the log file is getting full so you need to go and troubleshoot so what is the command that you go and see uh, to check the disk usage so you can use something called du and you can go to that particular file system and you can go and check what exactly is happening so for example if i want to do i'll just do sudo then i'll just do uh, du that is nothing but disk usage then i'll just do iphone a h then i'll just say slash var okay so nothing but we are uh, showing the disk usage of files inside slash var in a human readable format then what i'll do i will use something called sort okay sort is nothing but it will provide you the output in a sequential order if you say hyphen r then it will show in a reverse order so based on the size it will show the files then i'll just do head hyphen 10 nothing but display the top 10 largest files okay so now i'll just do enter so what it will do it will go to the slash var and it will search for the highest uh, file and it will show top 10 files nothing but top 10 largest files then you can go and do whatever you wanted to then i'll give you the scenario or i'll just give you like what we need to do okay so these are all the files which are listed if you see here i already have docker inside this virtual machine so it is showing docker has 6.3 gb and if you see here you are seeing a file called bigfile.log 
so which is taking up 5 GB of space so when you see this scenario you cannot go and remove this file you need to follow the process so to follow the process you need to follow your incident management and also the change management if you are not aware of what is incident management and change management please, uh, please go and um, check the documents you can uh, see how to follow the incident management process or how to see the change management process so with respect to that process you need to get the approvals to delete this file nothing but to remove this file so if you have the approvals to go and remove this file you guys can go and remove this file or else you can archive this file using the tar command so i'll just show you like how to remove the unnecessary files so the command is rm rm is nothing but remove files if you do hyphen f okay so nothing but it is forcefully deleting the file without any confirmation so you can use rm only like you can say slash var slash log slash big file dot log now i'll do rm okay so nothing but we are removing that file now if i go and check what will be the top five largest files the file which is having 5 gb it will be removed nothing but you have removed a file which is not necessary and you are freeing up the space so this is one scenario otherwise you can archive this file archive is nothing but you can do the tar okay so you can use tar command and you can archive this file so if you see this you are not seeing that file here and you can go and check the space again for example if you want to go and check the space again you can say df hyphen h okay so this is how you can go and fix the issues with respect to the disk whenever it is full and how you gonna prevent this in the future you can run the log rotations nothing but uh, you can define that every week okay so uh, it should go and archive your logs okay so that you can do using automation jobs or you can use the automation uh, using cron so that every uh, midnight or every seven days it will go and archive or else you can use etc logrotate.conf where it will have all the configurations like how many uh, for how many days you want to rotate logs or how many weeks you can do that and also you can uh, compress your old logs these are all things that you can go and mention the etc logrotate.conf so that you can prevent all these issues and also how you are getting this alert you will have a monitoring tool from where you will receive this alert so this is our first scenario next jump into the second scenario that is how users unable to ssh into the server